thanks for agreeing to talk with me uh, on the Vision Show floor. What room in the house do you think will change the most in the next five years? I think it's going to be the family room. And the reason I say that is because the family room is becoming much more technology driven. So I think people live differently in their homes. I think they're really wanting to connect there with their families, but they're also wanting to connect with the internet. So it's going to be a, a much more um, connected space. And I think we're going to see a lot more built-ins that are related to the technology that we're all using today. Very interesting, and I agree 100%. I'm seeing that with my clients right now. Name three things that you can't live without in your day-to-day -day business. <laughs> well, I think that goes along with the last question, and that would be my cell phone, my iPad, and my laptop, and probably my telephone, too, <laughs> my regular telephone, because that's how we communicate with people. So anything that's related to communications, I can't live without in the business. Well, you are an excellent communicator, too. Oh, thank you. What do you find most challenging about designing or creating window fashions? Wow, that is one of the toughest questions I could possibly answer. The toughest part about um, designing window fashions is really working with the way that houses are designed today or even in the, the way they were done before because you have to figure out how you're going to work around the moldings and the doors and the handles and uh, very small spaces to the side for where you can hang your brackets. So it makes it very difficult today, especially with the newer construction, trying to figure out with complex windows, where are you going to put the hardware? And how are you going to make it work and have a beautiful window treatment that makes sense for the volume of the space. It's a lot more involved than it looks. It is. Yeah. Would you share with us your cobbler scenario? What's the one thing in your home that is needs some attention? <laughs> Well, it's very near to getting resolved, but we have been living, we've downsized recently. Like many people, we're going through that stage of our lives where we're looking at the next phase, and we're baby boomers, so my husband and I moved into a smaller space, and we had to go through massive downsizing of all of our furnishings. So now we're getting ready to buy a new house, and the area that most needs help is our living room, and I'm so excited about it because I get to get all new furniture. <laughs> and window treatment, so it'll be a lot of fun. Well, that sounds like a good problem to have. <laughs> Gail, tell us, what are you most proud of? Well, there are a lot of things that I just feel really grateful for, and one of those is that when I found that my passion really was coaching, that we started a business about six years ago that is uh, Design Success University, and we now help over 10,000 designers from 64 countries, and we have helped them double, triple, quadruple their business, and that it's just uh, such a gift to be able to do that and work with people and help them make more money, be more profitable, and restore their passion for the industry. So I'd say probably just seeing their results is what I'm most pleased with. And I can attest to that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much, Gail. You're welcome.